At Service Sanitation, we're about fostering community and connection. One way we've been able to actively do that is by the use of the Predictive Index Behavioral Assessment, also known as a PI. At some point during your employment or pre-employment, you took the PI assessment to help us understand what it is that makes you tick. In this video, we'll break down the PI placard so you can understand what it means and how to read it. Accompanying each placard is also a quick reference profile that aligns your results to a profile and description commonly identified through the assessment. To learn more about your profile specifically, please visit servicesanitation.com slash PI. To begin, it's important to review the four behavioral traits that are analyzed after taking the PI. These four traits include dominance, extroversion, patience, and formality. Upon completion of the assessment, your results for each drive will be translated into a unique behavioral pattern that centers around a midpoint with three sigmas on each side. If your results fall to the left of the midpoint, you'd have a low amount of that drive. If your results fall to the right of that midpoint, you'd have a high amount of that drive. The further you are from the midpoint, the stronger those behaviors will be present in the workplace. So, let's break these traits down a little further. Dominance, identified by the letter A, is the drive that someone has to take control or make an impact on one's own environment. A person with a high A values independence and control above all. They are naturally innovative, venturesome, and have a tendency to challenge the status quo. While a person with a low A readily accepts the authority of others, including situations when directives are set by company policies, procedures, or systems. Low A individuals can often be uncomfortable in the face of interpersonal conflict and desire harmony in the workplace. Extroversion, identified by the letter B, is the drive for social interaction. An individual with a high B has a sincere interest in people. Interacting with others energizes them. Approval and acceptance paramount for them. While a person with a low B is not often driven by a need for social interaction. They may appear quiet, non-communicative, and serious at times. They are often seen as analytical and matter-of-fact in their own interactions. However, they can become comfortable with a small group of close co-workers, particularly when mutual trust is earned over time. Patience, identified by the letter C, is the drive to have consistency and stability in one's environment. A person with a high C is calm, stable, and steady. They're often content to perform routine tasks over a long period of time. They are most comfortable with the familiar and accepting of things exactly as they are. A person with a low C doesn't have a need for stability and consistency. Instead, they often have a bias for action or change. Anything that brings a little variety to the picture is a welcoming part of their work. Formality, identified by the letter D, is the drive to conform to rules and structure. Someone with high D takes a diligent and serious approach to their work. They are conscientious about getting things right and motivated to produce error-free work. As a result, they are cautious and hesitant to take risks. Whereas someone with a low D is informal, casual, and often spontaneous. They are more concerned with the end game, what results are achieved, rather than how results are achieved. They operate best unscripted. Lodi people thrive when there's a lack of structure, where there's more freedom and a need to be creative in the approach. To learn more about the PI assessment and the individual reference profiles, please visit servicesanitation.com slash PI.